My name is Charlie Haffey, and I'm a volunteer at Samaritans, and I want to welcome my fellow volunteers who are going to help on this project. The project is a database of the funeral homes within the service area of Samaritans. Uh, the people working upstairs from us, they're going to take this information and provide to the funeral directors of the funeral homes that would like it uh, information about our uh, services and our products. That way, if a family comes in and they've lost somebody recently to suicide, uh, the bereaved family could receive those resources and have access to our information. It's a noble project. If you have a Gmail account, then you have a Google Drive account. And I'm going to be working within Google Drive. There is an aspect to Drive sharing that's just mind-boggling. If you don't have a Gmail account and uh, you don't have a Drive account, I'm just going to send you a link and you should be able to just access that directly like that. So let me show you where Google Drive is and then I'll show you the spreadsheet we're going to work on. So in front of me, I have a tab open and I have just my Google homepage here. Um, I like to start here. And you notice that I'm logged in because uh, I have a Gmail icon right here and there's my lovely picture up there in the corner. Um, I'm logged in to my Gmail account. So what I could do is come over here and start typing in a URL. And the URL for your Google Drive is drive.google.com. And if you're logged in, it'll take you right to your Google Drive account. Now, if I share a document with you, a sheet, and you open your email and you open a document, you close it up. The next time that you go to get it, you might want to start within your Google Drive environment. So if you come down here to share with me, um, what's going to happen is, is there all of the documents that somebody shared with you would be listed here. And mine would be, the most recent would be at the top. So that is a brief tour of Google Drive and where um, the shared documents are. So let's take a quick look here at the GSS service area sheet. Um, there are tabs on the bottom and a tab basically is like a file folder tab. And the one on the right, volunteers, on this page, I have the names of all the people who are working on this project. I have their phone numbers and their email accounts. Now, being very clever and not trying to repeat the incident of 2012, um, I just scrolled over to the side so that nobody who is watching this video could actually see that information. Um, you'd have to get onto that spreadsheet in order to see that. Um, second sheet in the middle there, input. Uh, this is where we're going to put everything. So underneath business, address, city, state, and zip, and phone, we're going to have a list of all of the funeral homes in the 144 towns and cities in Massachusetts that is the service area for Samaritans. I'm going to take that then, and I have to manipulate and change it, and I'm going to put it into the existing database. And um, the nice thing about that is when I do that, the database will be completely up to date for all of the information that's on there. This is gonna be a really important thing for the department. So where do we start? Over here on the left tab, uh, the first tab, and this is gonna to be uh, towns, cities and towns. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go in and show you how to grab the information off the uh, this database that I found and how to put it into our sheet, the uh, input sheet correctly. Right? An important thing is because There'll be at least four of us working on this. If myself and Susie and Johnny all decide that we want to do Canton, uh, we're all going to be duplicating the work. Now, because we're working on exactly the same sheet together, um, anybody who comes in here after me will see that I've selected Arlington. So they know not to do Arlington. So whenever you pick a town, do all the areas in it, do all the funeral homes in the town, but just make sure you indicate under the volunteer column across from your town that you're doing it. Just put your initials in there. All right, Arlington. I'm going to come over here to where it says online database. I just mouse over that. And what's going to happen is above it is going to be the URL for this database that we're going to be working with. I click on that. And here is U.S. Funerals Online. And this is the Massachusetts page. So here we have Abington, Acton, Adams, Agawam. I'm coming down here. There's a lot of these 
um, that are not on that list, it's outside of our area, where we're, we're going to ignore those. I'm going to come down here to Arlington. And you notice when I put my cursor in that table cell, that box, uh, if it's to the side, the cursor is the standard little left pointing upward arrow. Okay. But if I slowly bring the cursor up to the beginning of Arlington, the text, you'll see the cursor changes to the kind of cursor you see in a word processor document. This is the key. So I click on there, and then using a mouse or my trackpad, I'm going to simply highlight those five rows of information. Now I need to copy it. So I can right click on the selected text and go to copy. Or I can come up to edit and I can come down here to copy. Or you'll notice over on the right hand side, um, it says that I have a command C option as a keyboard shortcut because this is a Mac. It would be control C for a PC. So I'm just going to click on the command right here. And now those five lines of information are on my clipboard. I then just click over here to go back to the GSS service area. I am not going to put it on this page, this sheet. I need to put it on the input sheet. Now there's a problem, not a big one, but it's a problem. If I go over here and click on this cell right here, and I want to put my information here so that I have business address, city, state, zip, and phone going across, if I go to uh, right click and I go to paste, um, everything drops down and this is not at all what I want. I really don't want this. I want everything to be horizontally listed so I can go down in rows. So I'm going to do Control Z, Command Z, uh, also known as undo or do Clean that up. I come over to the side, anywhere over that's outside of the columns that contain the data. And I'm going to click on a cell. And I'm simply going to paste it here. OK? You notice that it's still highlighted, and that's really important. That's what I want, because now it's pasted into the, to the spreadsheet, and it's in spreadsheet format. So I'm going to right-click on it and copy it. Come over here to Business, and I'm going to right-click. And this time, instead of Paste, I'm going to go to Paste Special. Now, there's a lot of options here. You don't need to know them except for the very last one, this Paste transposed. And bada bing, bada bang, bada boom, whew, right across very nicely. Now I went and did this a couple of times. That's why I got those headings to the columns just right. So this is good. Um, I'm going to come back here, highlight this mess, and delete it. Good. This is a good start. Now you'll notice right above here it says all changes are saved in Drive, which means that you don't have to save this document. And that if I just closed it up right now, the next time I came back in, I'd be looking at this, unless somebody else came in, did some work when they left, or if I came in at that point, I would see whatever the spreadsheet was at that point. This is pretty good. So let me go back to funeral homes. I want to show you a problem that, come up, that can come up, but it's not really a problem. All right, so I'm going to come over here to Berglund Williams O'Brien Funeral Home and select it all. Uh, this time I'll just right click on it, copy it, come back here. And remember, I can't just go right off the bat. I have to dump it in here first to format it as spreadsheet information. So I can just paste. Now I'm going to copy it again and click on this cell. And I'm going to do paste special and come down to transposed. Boom. Some people get a little concerned. If you click off here, here's Berglund Williams or Brian Fut. And sometimes people who are not familiar with spreadsheets would say, oh, there's a problem. There is no problem. The information is there. It's hiding underneath the second column that has text in it. If there was no text in that B column, we'd see all that information. Um, I would suggest to you, if it looks like it's a good start, leave it alone. If you're concerned and you want to check, bring your cursor up between the two columns that you're concerned about to the right of the column that's hiding the information. And you'll see that the line separating the A and B in this case 
turns bold and the cursor turns to a right facing arrow. If I click on that, I can just drag it across and I can make this as big as I want. The problem is, is that if you have an address that's really long um, or you know it's a, a really big city name or something like that, we're gonna wind up making this so wide that we won't have any workspace on the end. I would suggest to you, if you like that, okay, but then I would just do Control Z, Command Z, don't, and put it back. Uh, I find it this way. We have plenty of work room. We've got plenty of room here to, to see what's going on. All right. Uh, I'm just going to delete this for the next person who comes in. That is it. That's all we have to do. That's the good news. The bad news is there's a lot to do. Um, if you have any problems at all, any questions at all, please call me. The best thing to do is if you're on the worksheet and I'm on the worksheet, you can be doing some work and I can see what you're doing. Or if you ask me a question, I can do some work, show you the solution, and then you can look at it and you go, oh, it was the left click, not the right click. My name is Charlie Haffey. Thank you very much for being in this project.